Hi everyone, it's Chloe here and I'm the owner, making creator of Emmy Creations. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a packaging video because I recently finally launched my Sunny the Sunflower kit. And with that kit, I um, marketed on my social media and I actually received quite a few orders for those. Um, so I thought I would record or just do a little studio vlog of the packaging process of my new sunflower kits. Um, and also just talk through a few little changes that I've done to my kits as well. And also I want to show you guys a sneak peek of a new design that I'm working on as as well which I might do right now so I'm just going to turn the camera around so the new toys well I'm just going to show you guys one this is a new steam bun piggy which I am adding to my foodie series um, which is my dim sum series essentially so I am actually creating some more of my favorite um, snacks that I would eat growing up, uh, which are you, which is mostly, um, the Hong Kong, um, delicacies. <laughs> so for example, egg tarts, um, the Swiss cake rolls, um, the sausage, the sausage buns or the hot dog buns. I think that's what they're called. Um, and ball or bao, for example. So, this is one of those creations. So this will be part of a chubby a part of the chubby line um and there will be five uh characters in total so one of them is a pig i'm not going to reveal what the other characters are so but you guys are getting the first sneak peek of this new toy and this new series that i am creating um which i'm really excited about i've drawn it all up um and i'll probably talk more about it in a separate video where i'll probably do another design with me video um, but yeah, I'm really excited about this new z series because one, it's of my favorite foods. <laughs> um, I think you guys are probably starting to realize I'm a bit of a foodie. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited about this new series and it's so cute and squishy as well. So but anyways, I should really get started on packaging those kits and getting those sent out to my customers. Okay, so before I start packaging the kits i thought i would just bring a kit that i've already packaged to show you guys what's inside the kits um also when i first um announced the release of the kit i also stated that the first five purchases will receive a free notebook and pen that is created from vista print um so yeah so i need to pack some of those up into their plastic sleeves um but yeah i'll just open Open this kit up so you can see what's inside. I've just covered the QR code. So essentially, every um, sunflower kit will receive a printed uh, pattern booklet, and there will be a QR card uh, code. Sorry to scan so that people can receive the digital copy of the pattern and if i just open this to show you what's inside so if you watched my part one of creating this kit you would have noticed that that was a year ago so there was a few little delays um there were delays with the printed booklets there were delays with the boxes i wasn't happy with the project bag before so and um i want to wait to create a new project bag and finally the opportunity came when I received the HTV run so I finally created a project bag that I'm happy with and this one is of a sunflower with a bee with a quote saying you are my sunshine um, and then in here is a envelope of the small items so um, safety eyes stitch marker pins yarn needle and black felt and there's also a piece of small um a little bit of pink yarn as well um there is also a piece of felt and some cardboard which is placed inside the pot and then of course there is the hook and the required colors of the yarn so these are all the items that go with the kit um so there's quite a bit of work that I need to do so I need to create the project bags I need to roll the yarn um I need to pack the freebie um uh notebook and pen which is for five people only um 
And then I have to cut all the felt and cardboard up as well. I've got the cardboard cut, but I haven't got the felt cut. Um, and also I've already got these packaged up, so they're ready to go. But yeah, there is quite a bit of work to do, so I should really get started on packaging. Okay, so I thought I'll just take this opportunity to share with you guys, or oh, I should probably hide some shipping details, but I thought I'll just share with you guys what I've changed in terms of my kit packaging. So I think in one of my last videos, I talked about updating my kits a little bit and in that update I showed the new um, printed patterns that I got printed by Vista Print um, and that was phase one. So phase two is actually um, these new pouches that I purchased. So these pouches will be replacing my boxes. The reasons, but the reasons, yes, reasons why I am replacing the boxes with these pouches is one, the shipping cost in Australia has increased and with shipping, it's always based on weight and the boxes were just too heavy so when someone purchased you know multiple kits the price of the shipping will increase quite drastically um so i opted for something much lighter so these ziploc um airtight bags and um with that i've got some stickers which i used for the boxes so i'm still using the same stickers the only difference is i printed some new stickers um to fit the bag so rather than um, landscape, I create the stickers as a portrait and on the stickers, and if you can see, it, it's just details of what is in the kit and also giving people a warning sign that it is a kit that contains small items and that it is packed with a lot of love. Um, so yeah, so I decided to opt for these um, pouches mainly because of the increased cost in shipping and when I weighed the kits and um, just to compare the weight um, the boxes came up to be um, 130 grams these bags with the kits with all the materials was only 50 grams so that's half the weight so I want to cut costs for people who are planning to purchase more of my kits um but also yeah really just reducing the shipping costs and also these pouches are much cheaper than the boxes as well so cutting costs because you know right now things are getting more expensive and i really need to think of ways to reduce my you know packaging cost uh, which is actually really hard um but yeah so just purchase just purchase these pouches from a manufacturer in australia it's it's around 25 cents or 20 cents per pouch um so if you buy more then it's obviously cheaper whereas the boxes were you know 50 cents per box so <laughs> um i'm obviously already cutting you know quite a bit of cost there when i just by changing my packaging um but yeah so that's just a little update on my little kits um i also changed my kits actually another thing is you probably saw when I was creating my new pouches um, or the new project bags in another video when I was testing out the HTV Ront. Um, so these kits don't come with the project bag anymore. The project bag is an add-on. So if you want a project bag, you can add the project bag to your purchase. Um, so the kit is purely, very simply, just of the key main materials that you need um, to to create the projects um but yeah enough talking from me i'm gonna keep working and get packing
I've got all the things I need for my pouch kits um, so I'm gonna do that first only because of the sunflower kits I need to make the project bags before I can pack everything so I'm gonna go ahead and pack all the pouch kits and then start on creating those project bags and also winding the yarn for the sunflower kits as well These pouch kits are all done. Now I'm going to bring my Cricut out and my HTV Ron out to create those project bags.
Okay, so I've wound the yarn, I've made the project bags, the small items have been packed and I've got my hooks out. So all I have to do now is fold the tissue paper and also make the boxes and I can start packing. Okay, so I've just packed all the kits and now I just need to um, pack them into the mailing boxes and then I need to do the shipping and take them to the post office. So I'm going to quickly package them all up, but that was a pretty good effort. Um, I, I just realized it didn't take me too long to pack you know 10 kits which is really good um so yeah i think i'm getting faster with packing my kits so hopefully i can do it even faster next time maybe i'll see but anyways i'm gonna go and um set up all the shipping labels as well so so yeah that's gonna be fun <music> Okay guys, so parcels have been sealed. I am going to do the shipping labels um, outside of this video because I don't want to reveal anyone's personal details. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this little studio vlog of me packing a lot of orders. It's so heavy. <laughs> I'm going to probably need my husband's help. Um, tomorrow taking this to the post office but so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog um, if you have any questions about my kids or just anything in general about my business uh, definitely leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can um, but otherwise if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel if you haven't already um, but otherwise I'll see you all very soon and have a great day Bye. <laughs>